Hi guys. I was reading um, Eckhart Tolle's Power of Now this morning, and I couldn't help um, but share with, want to share with you um, chapter six, the inner body, or some of it. That I can read in the next like ten minutes or something. So good, so good. I really need this for grounding, you know. And that's how you reach present moment is through the body. So it's a really good place to start with grounding inside yourself. So hold on a sec. Okay, if you're sitting comfortably, I shall begin. <laughs> the body that you can see and touch cannot take you into being, but that visible and tangible body is only an outer shell or rather a limited and distorted perception of a deeper reality. In your natural state of connectedness with being, this deeper reality can be felt every moment as the invisible inner body. I've got a little fly buzzing around. Fruit flies. I found some grapes, a box of grapes that have been left. Oh, I can't believe it. All these really sweet, isn't it? And the fruit flies loved it. And we didn't know it was there. And it, you know, it's attracting me. They're still hanging about now. You know, sorry. See, this is what I really want to do. I just want to chat. <laughs> anyway, what's going on with this? Oh, dear. Right. Um, in the natural state of connectedness with being. Oh, it's right in front of my eyes now. <laughs> It's trying to get me to go within, I think. Oh, that's what it is, yeah. Uh, being this deeper reality can be felt every moment as the invisible inner body, the animating presence within you. So you, to inhabit the body is to feel the body from within, to feel the life inside the body and thereby come to know <laughs> that you are beyond the outer form. Thank you, little fly. But that is only the beginning of an inward journey that will take you even ever more deeply into a realm of great stillness and peace. Mm, that's what I'm after. Yet also glimpse of oh, great power and vibrant life. Wow. <laughs> Love that. Uh, next one. Underneath your outer form, you are connected with something so vast, so immeasurable and sacred that it cannot be conceived or spoken of. Yet I am speaking of it now. Mm. I'm speaking of it not to give you something to believe in, but to show you how you can know it for yourself. Okay. Oh, here we go. Connecting with the inner body. Please try it now. You may find it helpful to close your eyes for this practice. Later on, when being in the body has become natural and easy, this will no longer be necessary. Direct your attention into your body. Feel it from within. Is it alive? Is there life in your hands, arms, legs and feet, in your abdomen, your chest? Can you feel the subtle energy field that pervades the entire body and gives light, vibrant life to every organ and every cell? Can you feel it simultaneously in all parts of the body as a single field of energy? Keep focusing on the feeling of your inner body for a few moments. Do not start to think about it. Feel it. Yeah, I can feel vibration in my cells. Like it's on the surface of the skin mostly, different areas of the body. It's lovely. It's such a wonderful feeling to actually feel the body vibrating like that. Because um, when we're in our heads, we don't give it any attention. Anyway, I'll let the master speak more about that. Keep focusing on the feeling of your inner body for a few moments. Do not start to think about it. Feel it. The more attention you give it, the clearer and stronger this feeling will become. It will feel as if every cell in the body is becoming more alive. And if you have a strong visual sense, you may get an image of your body becoming luminous. Although such an image can help you temporarily, pay more attention to the feeling than to any image that may arise. An image, no matter how beautiful or powerful, is already defined in form, so there is less scope for penetrating more deeply. And the feeling of the inner body is formless and limitless and unfathomable. <clears throat> if you cannot feel much at this stage, pay attention to whatever you can feel. Perhaps there is a slight tingling in the hands and feet. That's good. That's good enough for the moment. Just focus on the feeling. Your body is coming alive. Later we will practice more. Please open your eyes now, but keep some attention on the inner field of your body. 
even as you look around the room. <laughs> the inner body lies at the threshold between your form identity and the essence identity, your true nature. Never lose touch with it. Next part, squiggle and um, oh, to me. <laughs> I was sorry for a moment. Transformation through the body. I'm just going to briefly say the fact that no one has ever become enlightened through denying or fighting the body or through an out-of-body experience. The fact is that no one has ever become enlightened through denying because a lot of religions have denied, tried to get you to deny the body, you know, deny, deny pleasures of the flesh and, yeah, and even punish, you know, um, what do they call it? Hold on. Mortification of the flesh. It was sinful, the body, originally, they thought. And even now people are saying, you know, don't desire and stuff like that, you know. Um, though such an experience can be fascinating, like he's talking about out-of-body experience, etc., and can give you a glimpse of a state of liberation from the material form, in the end you will always have to return to the body where the essential work of transformation takes place. Transformation is through the body, not away from it. This is why no true master has ever advocated fighting or leaving the body, although their mind-based followers often have. Of the ancient teachings concerning the body, only certain fragments survive, such as Jesus' statement that your whole body will be filled with light, or that they survive as myths, such as the belief that Jesus never relinquished his body, but remained one with it, and ascended it into heaven with it. Although no one to this day has understood those fragments or the hidden meaning of certain myths, and you are not your body belief, has prevailed universally, leading to body denial and attempts to escape from the body. I must have read that wrong. But it's just the first word. Almost no one to this day has understood those fragments, and etc. Uh, countless seekers have thus been prevented from attaining spiritual realisation for themselves and becoming finders. I have already spoke, spoken of the truth that is hidden within your body, but I will summarise for you again the lost teachings of the Masters. So here is another signpost. Please endeavour to feel your inner body as you read or listen. Sermon of the Body What you perceive as a dense physical structure called the body, which is subject to disease, old age and death, is not ultimately real, is not you. It is a misperception of the, your essential reality that is beyond birth and death, and is due to the limitations of the mind, which having lost touch with being, creates body as evidence of its illusory belief in separation and to justify its state of fear. But do not turn away from the body, for within that symbol of impermanence, limitation and death that you can that you perceive as the illusory creation of your mind, is concealed the splendour of your essential and immortal reality. Do not turn your attention elsewhere in search for the truth, for it is nowhere else to be found but within your body. Hey <laughs> You still there? You <laughs> still watching? Do not fight against the body, for in doing so you are fighting against your own reality. You are your body. The body you can see and touch is only a thin illusory veil. Underneath it lies invisible inner body, the doorway into being. <sighs> Got loads more underlined stuff coming up. So that's a, a real, real good stuff <laughs> for me anyway. <laughs> The doorway into being, into life unmanifested through the inner body. You are inseparably connected to this unmanifested one life, birthless, deathless, eternally present. Through the inner body you are forever one with God. It's got a squiggle. Have deep roots within. Uh, I was going to say, oh yeah, I hope you're still focusing on your inner body as you... I notice my um, my, butt, my gut area loves the inner attention and also my areas of my legs I absolutely loves it it's like 
what have you been doing? You haven't been giving me any attention for eight. My knees are telling me. It's like, I absolutely love to. My feet, areas of my feet, but mostly my knees and my gut. I just, you know, start moving around. And around my kidneys sometimes around my waist. Well, when I was doing it earlier, that area, around, just um, around my waist at my back. Oh, I loved it so much. Yeah, I'm doing it now, just putting my hand on my back. So nice. Yeah, I wish I could do like Reiki. <laughs> There's a guy who does Reiki, he puts his hands up and gives people Reiki sort of thing. It's just he's got such a beautiful voice. It's so relaxing. He talks about friends. You can relax friends, you know, and it's just so reassuring, wonderful, loving energy. It's just oh yeah, anyway. <sighs> Have deep roots within. Mmm, cozy. The key is to be in a state of permanent connectedness with your inner body, to feel it at all times. This is going to oh, absolutely transform me if I'm able to remember to do this in the mornings. Yeah, I want to read this first in the mornings, but there's all this other stuff to read in the mornings as well. Meditation and exercise and vibrating. And, oh, I don't, anyway, I'm going to stick with this for a while. This will rapidly deepen and transform your life. The more consciousness you direct into the inner body, the higher its vibrational frequency becomes. Much like a might la la light la, 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 la much like a light. Try and say like a light, like a light. It's quite good for the exercise in the back of your throat. Much like a light that grows brighter as you turn up the dimmer switch and so increase the flow of electricity. At this higher energy level, negativity cannot affect you anymore. Why have I got these? I don't need to put that. Negativity cannot affect you anymore. I mean, how good is that? And ten, you tend to attract new circumstances that reflect this higher frequency. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do when I'm vibrating. I'm reading all these positive words to myself. You know, get excited about what you want coming to you and the rest of it. But I'm, you know, I'm a bit tense and out of my body. I'm in my mind visualizing. But he's saying, you know, be in the body predominantly first, and that will raise your vibe. So that's brilliant and attract to you what you want. Yeah, natural state of being. I mean, that state of bliss I got into reading. I can't. I wish I could find the passage that I read that got me to that state of bliss that he talks about. Oh, talk about coming home. It was just indescribable, really. It's just so. So good. Anyway. If you keep your attention in the body as much as possible, you will be anchored in the now. You won't lose yourself in the external world, and you won't lose yourself in your mind. Thoughts and emotions, fears and desires may still be there to some extent, but they won't take you over. That's the thing, isn't it? It's being taken over by your emotions, and that causes all the problems. Physics, you know, in arguments and stuff, and fear and stuff. Please examine where your attention is at the moment. You are listening to me or you are reading these words in, in a book. This is the focus of your attention. You are also peripherally, peripherally aware of your surroundings, other people and so on. <laughs> Excuse me. Furthermore, there may be some mind activity around what you are hearing or reading, some mental commentary. Yeah, there is no need for any of this to absorb all your attention. See if you can be in touch with your inner body at the same time. Keep some of your attention within. Don't let it flow all flow out. Feel your whole body from within as a single field of energy. It is almost as if you were listening or reading with your whole body. Let this be your practice in the days and weeks to come. Yeah, as soon as you said whole body, I went up to my head as well. I can feel the top of my head feels really nice. Yeah, and my eyes are a bit achy actually. I hadn't noticed that before. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Wait. Hello? Oh, it's back. Do not give all your attention away to the mind and the external world. By all means, focus on what you are doing. But feel the inner body at the same time whenever possible. Stay rooted within, then observe how this changes your state of consciousness and the quality of what you are doing. I've got a little smiley face next to me, next bit. <laughs> shouldn't really deface my book, should I? But no, that was from years ago. I got accept, accept yourself. <coughs> 
afternoon. The little smiley is new because this is all new stuff that I haven't either. I read it before and like, it wasn't, you know, didn't light me up at the time, or I may not even have read it. I don't know. Skimmed over it for some reason. Wherever you are waiting, oh, whenever you are waiting, yeah, this is a good one. Uh, wherever it may be, use that time to feel the inner body. In this way, traffic jams and lineups become enjoyable. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Instead of mentally projecting yourself away from the now, go more deeply into the now by going more deeply into the body. Something I just don't think to do is standing in line. It's like you're in your head, aren't you? Thinking, oh, I want to get there, and what I'm going to do next, and when I'm going to do it, and stuff. You don't think to go in your body. It's not an automatic reaction at all. I mean, me, you know, I talked earlier on about being out of my body completely. <laughs> You know what I mean? My default state. So, but anyway. <clears throat> so for me, this is really, you know, it's just not my practice to do it. But, you know, you've got to learn it, haven't you? That's why I want to read it in the morning. It is easy to stay present as the observer of your... Oh, it is easy to stay present as the observer of your mind when you are deeply rooted within the body. No matter what happens on the outside, nothing can shake you anymore. I'm getting giggly <laughs> When um, my ex gives me Reiki, he's such a powerful healer, wow. When he gives me Reiki, when he, he's actually focusing on what he's doing, cause some, you know, he's a, um, an air sign, so he's in his head a lot. When he's focusing on what he's doing, you get the heat coming and stuff, I start giggling every time. I think it just relaxes the body. Maybe I'm relaxing, that's why I'm giggling. Right, unless you stay present... And inhabiting your body is always an essential aspect of it. You will continue to run, by, be run by your mind. The script in your head that you learned a long time ago, the conditioning of your mind, will dictate your thinking and your behaviour. You may be free for, from it for brief intervals, but rarely for long. This is especially true when something goes wrong, in inverted commas, or there is some loss or upset. This is what I mean, being overtaken by your emotion. Your conditioned reaction will then be involuntary, automatic and predictable, fueled by the one basic emotion that underlies mind-identified state of consciousness, fear. So when such challenges come, as they always do, make it a habit to go within at once. At once! Get inside now! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Time for a hair break. Give me something else to look at other than just the top of my head when I'm reading. <laughs> I can't stand it when it snakes around my neck. It looks like a snake or something. Yuck. Right, there we go. If that's anything better. That's a bit better, isn't it? Right, uh, I forgot where I was now. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, it goes wrong. Oh, yeah, fear. Uh, so when that's wrong, uh, this need not, oh, yeah, go into your energy field of your body. This need not take long, just a few seconds. But you need to do it in the moment that the challenge presents itself. Yeah, immediately, like I was saying, get inside now. Any delay will allow a conditioned mental emotional reaction to arise and take you over. <laughs> I just want to go, dun, dun, dun. I don't know what happens to me. I become like a little kid or something. When you focus within and feel the inner body, you immediately become still and present as you are withdrawing consciousness from the mind. Ah. Uh, Got a thought now, I better tell you about it quickly. This is a bloke called um Disco Bunny, yeah. I saw I was drawn by the music one day down to the end of the street. I was I'd done a walk and I was coming back and I heard this music. I thought, where's that coming from? It must be someone's car, but it really attracted me because it was seventies or eighties music. And it was right down the end of the street, but it was quite loud, so that's how I I could hear it right up the other end. And um there's this guy, a black guy, quite short. Ish, but anyway, that's irrelevant. He was just um prancing around like a, a hoppy bunny and stuff. And just he had a bunch of flowers and he had all flowers in his hair and stuff, and then kind of a leotard on. And uh, I just absolutely loved it. Anyway, I met him in Morrison's, I couldn't believe it because I was really gutted that I didn't think to take his name or anything like that or speak to him at the time. I was just blown away <laughs> by it. And just, you know, everyone loved it and it really brings people together and stuff. Anyways, I met him in um, Morrison's and um, it's just, you know, when I was reading this kind of thing, it's <laughs> what he was doing, he was just trying to break everyone's kind of, you know, uh, 
as they're walking on the street, he'd run up to them and smile and get sexy with them, you know, if they were up for it sort of thing. And, um, oh, the, the absolute pinnacle for me was when um and he, he left one person along the street and then he went and this bicycle's coming and he ran into the road and he's offering this um person on the bicycle a bunch of daffodils running on the road. It was brilliant. And I laughed and clapped out loud because it was so it was just the timing of it was perfect, you know, and it was so funny. I wish I could have recorded it, you know. And after that he saw me and he came sidling up to me, you know, and did a sexy dance all up and down <laughs> so it was covered in sweat he had no smell whatsoever must have just freshly showered sort of thing but i've been um looking on online yeah because his name's disco bunny the star yeah and um before he even starts he does a load of um, star jumps and stuff and really gets you know everyone going and stuff and there's one bit online that's in the center of brighton there's this old granny dancing and stuff but he was much pudgy and he had this yellow suit on but he's really s slim now and um with nicer, you know, clothes on and stuff. But anyway, yeah, gorgeous. Um, it's over 20 minutes. I want to finish what I'm doing. Ah, I have to do it on another time. Okay. <laughs> Love you lots. Get inside that body now. Spend some time, yeah, sort of making yourself feel good inside, yeah, inside and out. Okay, love you lots. Have a great day. Go after what you want. Yeah, know that you can get what you want. And this is, you know, a doorway into the portals of the universe. <laughs> like doing it's much, it's much better than sitting here bought just straight, isn't it? Okay, yeah, this is the thing about the disco bunny. That's me. I want to do that. I so want to do that. I want to go out on the street and just run up to people and smile and laugh and wear a clown's outfit and squirt water at them, you know what I mean, just for fun, you know, just be fun. Yeah, I want to be him, basically, but I'm not him, you know. Anyway, he's got quite a story, actually, what happened to him. Anyway, look him up, Disco Bunny, if you fancy it, if it's your thing, and, um, yeah. Okay, bye for now, I love you lot. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> you know the two Ronnies, but it's bye from me, all serious. And it's bye from him. Bye. <laughs> Happy last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't take notice of what people say. Just, just be yourself. Love your life. Enjoy. <laughs> bye.